if you lose something as precious, someone productive as may, there is nothing you will not do to get that person back. I'm not going to blame Peter Duce at all. I mean, I'm not going to blame him. It came to him as a shock. He never knew that Yule Doche will throw away diamond embracing stones, worthless stones. Stones that cannot even be used to build foundation of any house. A pity, isn't it? So I don't blame Peri Doche. I don't blame him at all. The man knows, you know, every family has its own secret. Something that is within the family. Pereduche knows. And he said some of this out there. People didn't get it. They thought he was just trying to hype me. When he said the backbone of that family, he wasn't referring to, in general, women giving that attribute of being the backbone of their family. No, not at all. In fact, a man is supposed to be backbone if we are to look at it that way. Because if you look at that title, horse band, it is actually house band. House band that became horse band. It's house band. A male that bands or bond together keeps the house together keeps everyone together hmm well 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 pedagogy has done something and um, th this has got a lot of people talking it's got a lot of people talking some are for some are for, uh, they, they are against they are like no no we don't want we don't want to even hear we don't care at all petty duchy you you are deceptive uh, petty duchy you are a liar you knew at the beginning what was happening but you decided to keep quiet you you are pre you they, they've said a lot of things and obviously um it is obvious that you let Duce messed up. He really messed up. Not in this time and age. Not in this time and age. The only thing that will prompt a man to engage in polygamy, I'll give you. I mean, in this present age, in this present time. I know there are still few people out there who are living that stone age, a cake. You know, they are still living that life. But in this present age, present age, present time, any man that engages in polygamy will be for two reasons. One, ignorance. Ignorance, foolishness, stupidity. These are the type of men, you find them around newspaper vendors. They are there to argue about sports, about government. You know, they, they argue about everything. They talk. They call themselves uh, whatever title. You'll find them there. Some of them, you find them at that uh, cheap gin junction, Ogogoro junction. You find them in one of the stores on the street. You'll find them there. Many many, countless of them, countless of them. You'll find such men. So what these men do is to find, uh, you know, illiterate women or women who are going through hard time or women who didn't come through or, you know, come from, you know, women who came from the same background and they have never thought about getting themselves anything good or women that have some disability it could be slight mental you know some else here and there they look for such women 
They lied to them. Ah, do you know my father is the owner of this house? I have 10 rooms that I get rent from. They, they sell this lumber to these women. They get them pregnant. They don't care for them. They don't cater for the kids. All they do is to come and ask for food. Once in a while, maybe once in three months or six months, they'll bring some little stipend, some little money, and they expect that that money that they brought that cannot even serve for two days should be enough to feed the woman, her children, and they themselves. And they continue in this craziness. Whenever they get drunk, if uh, they meet themselves close to the street where the unfortunate woman lives, they knock at the door and they expect her to do the benching thing. That's one group. The other group, these are extremely rich, obscenely rich. These are people who have stolen money either as politician they are business people fraudsters or they are just rich they are so rich so rich what they have is it, it, so big humongous so large that three children and a wife they can't they cannot it's just impossible for you to of course, I know some people will be like, oh, at least they, they can as well give this out, open charity, and help the less privileged. That God has given you or that you stole does not mean you cannot give. But you see, human beings think differently. Such men engage in polygamy. Some of them are smart to keep that image of me, my wife, and children. You will never, ever see the other women and their kids they either throw them to australia throw some to canada throw some to europe you know anywhere in europe that's how they roll or just split them all over the place that's how they roll they have so much money so whenever they land in the uk for example they have two there when they have something to do in australia but they just feel like, oh, I think I need to spend time in the U.S. They have like two or three in different states. Some of these men do this. They have so much money. So much money. They have stolen too much. They have stolen. They have robbed people. Some of them are dangerous business people. You know, they call themselves businessmen. But if you look at the kind of business they do, that they could be involved in weapon you know marketing weapon importation of weapon to cause the you no know, to destabilize the country they might be involving um, you know racketeery they can be involving fake medication you know drugs fake drugs all over you find them they are so rich so they think to themselves like okay you know what we need to do something we need to expand our family those two group of men, where is Yule Duche? That's a question I want to put out. Because the move of Pete Duche, hmm. Pete Duche arrived in May Aligwe's village. He arrived there to speak to the king, the chief of that particular village, the Tao, and also he wants the king, the chief, to help reach out to the family members of May and also to speak to May. So that all of these will come to an end. You might be like, no, let Yule Doche just sign and that's it. The thing is this, Yule Doche has a lot to lose. Imagine you, you, you have been the envy of your colleagues, 
you know, your colleague, you've been, they've been envious of you. Oh, you let Doche, he has a house on the island. There is a difference between I have house. Where is that house? You let Doche was fortunate, lucky enough to have house on a piece of land that is now, I mean, it, it is, it is hot cake. That's become, I mean, that piece of land where he got his house and everything, that place is not cheap anymore. When you start talking about 100 million naira, 120 million, what, no, like that. When you start talking about that, you, you should know that that person, you know, that piece of land will keep appreciating. That house will keep appreciating. So, you let Richard be the envy of his colleagues. And, you know, Everything was looking fine. Everything now look at what's happening. You let Doche cannot lay claim. He can't point. He can't say this and that. Everything has gone down the drain. You let Doche has now become a man squeezing with that type of size of a woman, Judy Austin, in a small space. A small space, self-contained. One room. One small room. One small living room kitchen toilet you know all fixed together that's why you never see them make video they will never do this like move around the their house like with camera no 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 no. it is always going to be a corner and whenever they need to do their sunday thing they will look for an hotel somewhere get a space and do their recording for that period of time so that you can see just the bed can't you i'm sure you guys must have seen that always you let Doche is always uh, shooting his video on the bed, you know, because that's the biggest space there. The bed has occupied the. So what? What do you want him to do? And he doesn't want you to see the curtains, or so you say. No, I know this hotel. I know this guest house. That's how bad it is. You let Doche, you know, no one wants to call him for anything. Endorsement zero, movie zero. You let Doche is worse than an upcoming skit maker. Because he tried his hands in skit making. He didn't work as he expected it. Because he lacked the ability to connect. You know, when pride takes over you, your, your performance, your performance at times, people will look at you like, what's wrong with this guy? You let him just sit back with his experience in the industry, look at skit makers and how they do their things, and come up with some skit, and also continue with his movie. Yule Doche is only, he, the guy is so, he's so loud. I don't know. Can we say he's lousy? He's so loud. He's the one pushing this polygamy agenda. Like it's a movement that he needs to be the head of, as if it has not existed before. Yule Doche is the man that is saying that hurricane politician, I have arrived at Abuja. If he had gone to Abuja without noise, when you fail, there will be nobody to ridicule you you know, if you now win, you can now make them know that hurricane arrived and hurricane or is it tornado, anything that he called himself. Then you can now make that public. No. The same man came on social media announcing polygamy, talking about polygamy, putting it on social media, introducing Juju Austin. We even thought that Judy Austin is the daughter of the gov ex-governor or maybe uh, former prime minister back then when Nigeria still, we, we thought Judy Austin, when we saw Judy Austin's father and mother, we knew that they needed help. So, we now looked again, Mr. Obasi came out and said, hey, Judy Austin, Judy, we say, oh, so you like Duce left straight pathway, straight line, and decided to look for crooked you let Duce decided to, it's like, you see, at times when you are having it sweet, nice, and fine, and you don't have battles, like, a lot of battles to face, you will look at yourself like, why is my life so smooth? I don't have headache. I'm just good. I need problems. You let Duce say, I need problems in my life. Of course. Look at it. Let's look at it. You let Duce's dad was in the industry. At least, before he came into the Nollywood scene, he was already doing the theater thing before he came into the Nollywood scene. 
Obviously, people knew Yole Doche in their village, wherever he is, they were respecting. Oh, this is the son of this is the son of so he had that chip on his shoulder. He kept on life like that until he finished school. He felt good. Life is sweet. He kept on. He got into the industry without struggle. He didn't have to he didn't have, he didn't, he didn't have to bend his butt for uh, one industry. Uh, you know, gay man. He didn't have to do any of these things. He didn't have to bribe his way. He, he came in smooth. His dad supported him. May kept on. Life sweet. They kept on. It's not as if everything was so rosy, but at least he didn't really suffer that suffering, suffering, suffering. He kept on his, he, he doing his thing. Life is sweet. Odogu, Odogu, he will come out and roar, you know, Crackle his voice a bit. Everyone will feel like he will make it deeper. Uh, odogu, odogu. Things, 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 things became so easy for him. So Yule Doche looked at himself and said, I want my life to be rough. I want my life to be rough. I want my journey to be crooked. And he decided to bring in what will make his life turn upside down so you see it is not easy you need to be hungry broke starving your friends cut off from you no job you know if you're if if you are suffering suffering and you know all of that okay the worst is when you are rich and you now become broke poor you will not be able to cope you'll be able to cope it will be like the worst in life. That is what happened to you, Ledo. It was as if he was so rich, rich, rich back then. No. It was as if it was it was like. But he was comfortable. How old is he? He already had he already has that house with me on the island of Lagos. Not in Abakaliki, not in Enugu somewhere. No. You cannot compare the property, the amount of that property, the cost of that, the value of that property to Enu Enugu or wherever. If he is to sell that property and go to Enugu or wherever, you know what he's going to do. He's going to build maybe times four of that there. But value is important. Value is important. Very important. So, he has lost all of this. And he's with a woman who cannot give him connection. He's with a woman that is helpless. A woman that has no value than to open a pekus. You let Doche now. Yeah, he has swam in and out of the pekus. You know, when you are stealing something, as a young child, when you go pick sweet, meat, biscuit from, you know, you go do these things. It tastes sweet to you. But now you have money to buy these things, to cook. Does it taste the same way? No. Why? Because whatever human beings are told you cannot have whatever rules are attached to that particular thing will appeal to you differently it will work your mind work everything up like i need to have this now you let Duchi was benching judy behind the scene it tasted so sweet but like when you are benching someone else's wife you'll be benching her roughly because that, that's not your wife, that's someone's property. It's like you live in a rented apartment and you 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 just want to you you, you don't care for certain things in that house, unlike how you would do in your own property. You you let Judy was benching and Judy knew like the way this guy is doing this thing. Hey, don't think you will escape. You cannot escape. So don't think you are benching Mr. Obas's uh, uh, her wife for nothing. You let Ducha had been doing this all over, not only Judy. Judy was just the smartest of all of those women. That's just the difference. So now, Yule Doche has lost so many. He has lost so much. I mean, he has lost a lot. He has lost a lot. Money is not coming in. He's not comfortable. He's not enjoying himself. Look at the way he bows his head and his face whenever Judy is speaking in their so-called church, online ministry. You will know. You will know that it's just that... That, that that ego in him that 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 he grew up with my father is actor my father is popular then he also got into the fame as a young 
child kept on with it. That is what has uh, wired his mind. Not to see the pit that he is in. That's why he's not seeing nothing. But he's feeling it. You see the difference? His mind is not processing it. He believes that, nay, you belong to me. I belong to you, regardless of what I do. You are the one that has no right. After all, I forgave you, even though I have no evidence that you were benching some married men here and there. You see? So, all of this, Peter Doche looked at it and said, I have to help this guy by going extra mile to see those that we can speak to, that will speak to me, those that she cannot refuse. At least, let us take it easy. Let there be division. If you have to sell that house, sell, let him have something. He's not just going to. My son will not give everything to you. We have to break this. Let him have something to live on. That is what Peter Doche is fighting for. Even if me does not want to return back. He can't do nothing. But the stand of me on property is what Pete Duce cannot accept. Like, no. I beg you, return back to my son or my son will return back to you whichever way. But the thing is, this property we will not accept. We will not accept that you will go with this house, go with that, Go with that. No, 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 no. Regardless of who brought in more. Since the law permits divorce. The law. The law. The law should also help. If the law cannot help, we will go through different routes to help ourselves too. Our son cannot lose everything.